Bro, the meme is true, dude. I'm just like, wait, is he about to dunk on me? If you guys don't know the f Venom meme, literally, the Venom meme where he he posterizes Spider-Man. This Zomniac really did that to me. What the f I was like, bro, I'm being dunked on. <laughs> beat the sh out of him. Beat the sh out of him. Yeah, get beat the sh out of him. This Venom is so f cool, dude. Holy sh! Stop, Harry! We can help you. Where's the rest of it? Great. This boy even more OP. What's he gonna do with that thing? I think we're about to find out. You need to know. Harry's gone. Host and symbiote are perfectly fused. I'll find a way to save him. You can't. But you can still stop the symbiote. How? By killing the host. Bro, this is literally, dude, this is so similar to the first. The first game with, like, Aunt May, right? Like, you choose to save Aunt May or everyone dies or you, or let everyone live and then Aunt May dies. Dude, that's crazy, man. Please. We're back to square one. Save my boy. The thing is, we're with the people who literally started it all. This is their problem. That became our problem, you know? Bro, I just cleared out your nest. Come on, man. Look at this. This is like something you would see in a movie. Whoa. Oh my God. I see red dots. Spider-Man, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing right now. We've got a lot of New Yorkers being attacked by these things. I'm on it. Stay safe out there. All he needed was that meteorite. Now we can heal the world. This isn't what we meant. They're on here too? Oh my god, so you could parkour through these. Wow. Damn, the whole map changed. They're flooded everywhere, bro. It's apocalypse now. Look at that. They're just everywhere now in the streets. And it's all dude, it's it's a horror movie for Spider Spider-Man now. Dude, wow, they really changed up the whole entire map. This takes a lot of effort. Holy, look at this. Miles, we have to talk. No kidding. There are nests popping up everywhere. Sending you coordinates now. Got it. Watch yourself out there, man. Y'all gotta go too. This is... Look at this. Look what's happening around you guys. You guys gotta go. Dude, honestly, like... 
find this you. doesn't look like a real game. I'll find you. Somewhere. That's how crazy this looks right now. It doesn't even feel like I'm I'm playing an actual Spider-Man game. Wow. This is okay. Now is Devil May Cry. This is Devil May Cry Five we're playing. Oh! Sh <laughs> Two of you, not now. I don't have time for this. Maybe. No. Come on, Spider-Man. Almost done. Harry, can you hear me? Oh, oh my god, we could juggle the brutes. Dude, it's like we're shooting lasers too. Oh my god. Do you want to go out? On a date? <laughs> During all this, huh? Miles, really? Really? <laughs> Bro, I don't, I don't know why they did that scene. There's just the timing of all this. It's the Venom Calamity. It's like Tears of the Kingdom's uh, last act as well when you faced off Ganondorf at, at the uh, underground. I forgot what you call the underground though. Bro, I was like, I I'm running, bro. My my survival horror instincts came in. Oh, no. Spider Man, who are you? Did you go down there? You were right. It has to be here. He has to. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I know, man. I'll try to find a way inside. It's gonna be okay. Everyone's gonna be okay. Oh, my God. There's someone's body is floating up to the air. <laughs> Dude, this is actually cool. Like, cinematically, this is f amazing. And he's still alive. Oh, yeah. See, look at look at this. Some dead space. Shit. Oh damn! We can't stay here. I swear, I'm, I'm telling you, Miles. Miles is really OP as a Spider-Man. He is amazing. The game still. I thought I was getting close to the game. MJ. Not even close yet. <laughs> this is going on. Oh my god, it like blows them back. It's like the uh the concussive blast from uh the first game. Oh no man, like this game continues to surprise me. This is truly a triple A game. This is like a big high standard. Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. They put a goblin. I see what they did there. <laughs> like how the uh, cutscene didn't drag on either, right? Just straight to the point. We do this, we do that. All right. Let's get to work. That's actually the number one thing I actually have problems with, with so movies. Plan kind of drags out when they're explaining the plan. You could use a sonic touch. Bro, this means with... with so if we're going to be playing as MJ... We're gonna, it's gonna be full on like Last of Us Resident Evil, bro. I wonder how it's gonna be like if they're really gonna pull off a survival horror. Look, I can't thank you both. Well, not really a survival horror. There's no like ammo consumption for MJ, but here we go. Story, Watson. What was that? Oh, I was. Is that the brute? Shoot yellow! Oh, I didn't. I did not realize. I thought that was just for lighting. Okay. 
Survivors. I'll keep that in mind. I hope they made it out. What the hell? Damn. Telling you, it's a, it, it, Spider Man became a horror game. No wonder it came out for October. This this whole entire game. Nice. He's like just standing. He's like sitting down. He's like squat. <laughs> Damn. Hey, at least you're back, buddy, alright? Back to doing squatting. Why is that? There's auto- there's auto-aim. Damn, I got auto-aim, bro. <laughs> I'm just- dude, I never- Oh, it's a one-shot? Okay, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. I would never. Ex I was about to say I would never expect to see this in a Spider-Man game like this. Is there like um? I don't like the aim assist. It's actually annoying. Why would they give us like strong aim assist? Come on now, game. Oh well. I guess we'll deal with it. Wait. You won't die. Not leaving without that rock. See, look at this. Dude, Insomniac can make a horror game. And the sound effects. Look, dude, I feel like... I feel like this is The Last of Us or like Resident Evil. What's another, you could say like, well right now the vibes, I get Alan Wake vibes, but like. Woo -hoo -hoo, with the headshot, MJ with the headshot though. Oh yeah, I forgot, I could dodge. I gotta remember like the controls again for her. Look at that, bro. I'm I'm Leon S. Kennedy. Come on now. Come on now. It's game over. Is there a quick turn? Oh, there's no quick turn. Damn. Yeah. Okay. You can't tase. I can't. I couldn't shoot again. The game is actually bugged. Oh no. I was pressing R2 to shoot. See? I was thinking. I was. <laughs> I was playing it like a shooter. Yeah, I'm telling you. That's why. Like with Insomniac. They legit could could make a survival horror. I feel like she should have melee. Like I don't know why they they took it out. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. All these barrels that I didn't get to use. What a waste. Oh, never mind. It's not a waste. Oh, this is legit Resident Evil. Bro, give me a chance to ride. Wait. I don't know, Insomniac. Sometimes your game design... Okay, I'm going. I'm going left this time. I don't. Somnia, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Hey, I think that hurt it. He's 
He's got to loop around. This is like very fundamental Resident Evil fights. Oh damn, he got me. He like juked me at the last second. That was all funny. like a very it was a fundamental like um resident evil fight relying on your environment to uh attack the enemy you ready the one shots were super cheap though or the hitbox they, i can't believe it's already actually did that <laughs> oh my god we're back at this gym once more can't get enough of with this gym, huh? All right, here we go. Oh, he's in vulnerable to webs. Hell no. Nah. The hell are you doing? What is that? Gotta stay off the ground. Floor is lava. Bro, the meme is true, dude. I'm just like, wait, is he about to dunk on me? If you guys don't know the fucking Venom meme, literally, the Venom meme where he. <laughs> He posterizes Spider-Man? This Zombiac really did that to me? What the fuck? I was like, bro, I'm being dunked on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like shooting webs because I think I still heal. I think. What? Yeah, I still heal with the webs. Nice. Oh, you could go out of bounds. I didn't know that. Dude, he has a lot of health. He has like two more health bars after this. Join us. 
giving me a choice! Whoa, symbiote's dropping in. Man. Stay calm. Take him out one at a time. Oh, I gotta forgot that's for like crowd control. Oh my god. Alright. We got this, we got this. You're not giving me a choice! Symbiote's dropping in. Oh my god, I messed up. Or, never mind. I thought I'd... Woo! Dude, the animations that with Venom... This is actually, this is the boss fight for, oh shit, I gotta get out of here. The boss fight for here already, I could tell, this is like, already good. Let me dunk on you, bro. something for noise there we go mmm burn Hitting nerves right now, Peter. He does not like hearing that. The meteorite. You took it from us. I. When when is this? 
Is this part of the comics? Because I don't... I didn't know... I did not know Venom ha is like the one-wing angel Sephiroth now. Well, he has two wings, but... Bro! Bro! What the fuck? How? Is this an Insomniac thing, or is it... Or, or... Or is it actually that Venom could could grow wings? Oh my God! What? Look at that man, Venom just looks, he looks cool, he looks cool in every shot. They did him justice. Oh, we're back here in the museum, we're gonna trash it more, huh? We just cleaned this shit up. Miles got strength, dude. <laughs> like Miles, you just pulled down like a, a whole floor. I think you could carry Peter with one arm. All right, let's take this demon out. Literally, that's what I'm saying. Get back on the floor, bro. I know you talk to your mom, just like I talked to my dad. Remember? What's she saying right now? Mmm, <laughs> hit him with the Shoryuken. Another Shoryuken. In the air. Oh, <laughs> this is another Shoryuken. What? No, we were just owning you. No. Yeah, get the fuck off Miles, bro. Bro, don't tell me we're gonna switch to MJ one more time, bro. <laughs> That's gonna be a pure rip, bro. Not again. Oh my god, he's... Everyone's OP, bro. Venom's OP, Miles is OP. Sure, you can you one more time. Come at me, come on. Oh shit. Not you. 
Oh, I thought that was a... It's a parry. No! I... He ruined my aim! Let me fucking sure you can you. Don't you. Oh. This ain't about who's better. I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. I clicked his link. Dude, I can't. I can't. Doesn't matter if you like me or not. I'm here for you. He punched it again. He keeps dodging it! Fucking Shoryuken, bro! Yeah, get out of here! I like how, like... <laughs> that's always our final hit, so far. Harry, bro. Yeah, Harry's Harry's lost it, bro. Uh oh, another hero moment with Miles. Oh, this is insane. We're gonna beat the shit out of him! Beat the shit out of him! Yeah, get, get, beat the shit out of him! Get him out of all oh, damn! One more time, one more time! the church again it, it comes full circle like I said we're back to spider-man 3 dude the wings though oh you hear that I don't know if you could hear it with my mic but the rumbling is so intense on the controller Gotta fight back, bro. I'm done. Either way, Pete. 
We still have time? No, we don't. It'll kill them. And then it'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Together. Damn, he got a mind of its own. There you go. There you go, Harry. He's still good, right? Oh yeah. I love you. <laughs> Second game in a row for Peter. That was a whole war, bro. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm sorry. it's full circle. Spider-Man Three. I'm sorry. Hold up, we have a second Spider-Man. Come on now.
Harry. Pulse is weak. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. What? What? You knew your. I hate Norman, dude. Norman is so annoying in this game. He knew his son was causing literally a zombie world war in New York. <laughs> and when he sees him finally normal and breathing, it's still the Spider Man's fault. There are traces of brain activity, but. What the fuck? His chances of coming back are very slim. Just keep him alive. So he's back. He's is Harry back to square one again? And he's like in a coma. <sighs> I just I just can't I don't know man. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. G serum? What's the G stand for? For the Dude, last few years, we've been... tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. But we somehow kept going. We battled sickness, evil. Cataclysm. We are tired, anxious, stressed. I know that final act no. was crazy. But we have never lost hope. The city needs to heal. We're all ready to return to normal, but what is normal? What if it no longer exists? Over the last half hour, I've talked about how these events have changed me. But what about you? In this ongoing series, I will be talking with people throughout the city. Hey, that'd be me when I'm uh, making my critique videos. New routines, new thoughts and feelings. She on the grind. Wait, what did I say? Oh, I, I wanted to see her application. This has been Mary Jane Watson, and you're listening to The New Normal. Her podcast? She podcasting now? <laughs> oh, the pancake. Video game pancake. Episode one. Done. Nice. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, are these good to go? In a minute. I want to show you something first. Okay. It has molasses in it. Yum, I'll take those. <laughs> Thanks again for the donation, Peter. Donation for feast. <laughs> or what? Just just donation? Sorry, I'm just too curious to know everything. foundation literally a whole startup in his garage
Damn. Go get him, Tiger. Have you talked to Miles about? Not yet. You ready? Uh, Miles. I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about some. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's 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 great uh, to talk. So many good talks. I just haven't been talking to you about what I should have been talking to you about. Pete. Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Go be Peter Parker for a while. Are you, are you sure? Yeah, it's, it's Miles' it's turn, bro. It's a big city. I can handle it. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you. Always. Big bro. See you. Heal the world. Finish main story. I'm sorry, I'm letting it sink in. There's just so much to talk about with this game. This is why, like, I'm probably gonna make uh, another critique, right, of this game. Probably, like, a long critique, but I don't know if it should be spoiler-free. I'll, I'll try to make it spoiler-free, but... Solid game, man. Um, I was really impressed with the game the whole way through. Uh, I wasn't, like... I wasn't really dis- I didn't feel any sort of disappointment. Maybe like, if we're talking about the first half, I was like, I don't really know where this is going, what kind of build up it is. Uh, I think the way they handle Kraven and the other villains is probably what I disliked the most of this game. Um, I felt like Kraven was just here. Like, he's just like, he just wanted to like create chaos right just hunt down that's really it and i get it there was purpose with his hunts i guess right but i i wanted to believe it much more um but i i just didn't have that feeling for craven and it's funny like i said it earlier the sandman's like quest when hearing his memories hearing his thoughts and then having like a nice conclusion to his like character for this game I felt that like that was better than Craven overall here. You know, this is al also by the way the end credits has really amazing art. Um, the the thing about it is like I don't know like the the way they treated the pacing with this game, it felt weird, right? Like I I really do believe this game maybe should have been longer. If if, if we're if it were to have like a, another two extra years, I would wait for it, because this was so worth the you know just to buy and and enjoy this whole entire game. This game was beautiful the whole way through, um, and the game focused a lot on immersion. Like there was actually a variety of things in this Spider-Man game. It wasn't it wasn't just like a um, like you literally being peter parker and miles morales it was there were other things like like peter it was literally like a farm sim right it's a life sim social sim <laughs> the, there's resident evil the last of us in there like there's so many like different types of activities to do around in new york and that's what you do like that's how you immerse yourself in a uh quote unquote open world this spider-man game is not really an open world but like that's how you do it. The The formula that does the same is the Yoxa series. Even though the Yoxa series take place in 
different areas, a few different areas, time to time. But usually it's in one city in most games. People never get tired of the franchise or the games because they're able to still make co uh, content differently, immerse things, uh, make the side missions and other activities in the game immersive in some sort of way. And Spider-Man was sort of doing that formula, which I... Oh, wow. Uncle Aaron sitting at the table with them. I wonder, are we actually going to see that? In the future? I didn't complete every side quest also. So, I still got to do that. But, um, yeah, like, there's, there's a, like, a lot of factors to making an immersive world with a simple, like, uh, open zone map, right? Um, and I think the Yoxa series does it perfectly. It does it beautifully. And I see how, I see how the Spider-Man series, or at least with this, this game, they were doing that. As much as you hate doing the different activities or, or, or whatnot, it doesn't take away its core gameplay. I felt like there was plenty of action to look forward to. And there was a good balance of story and gameplay in this game. One of the main issues I have with modern AAA gaming is that there's so much story and sometimes it drags on. It's like, damn, I just want to play the game. Here, I feel like you're constantly fighting for your life in this game. There's so many waves of enemies to fight in, in like mainline quests. I'm not even talking about side quests or like those little side gigs. Um, good shot as well. Like, there's so many... Oh, hold up. There was like there was a great balance uh, between the two because it just kept going with boss fights, right? They just wouldn't back down. Oh, post pro post credit. Oh my goodness! It's the goblin suit he's revealing now, huh? This guy, he's always he's been the post. Who's he seeing? Doc Ock, okay. What do you want? Oh no. The Spider Man. You know who they are. I was surprised we actually didn't see him in the prison. I never thought about that. Why? I I guess cause he's in like the uh the top tier prisons. They ruined my son. <laughs> this guy, man. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. I forgot, yeah, they have a big history with each other. Norman was the one who was... What are you writing? Who was on top. But when he got to the top, he kind of screwed a lot of people over. The final chapter. So we're going to see another... Another, another return of Doc Ock. I don't know how to feel about that, like reusing villains. I was hoping for a teaser of like Green Goblin. I feel like they're kind of saving that, but who knows what they're going to do in the future. I, I honestly didn't expect this type of sequel to happen also with how they treated their story and, and their characters. Uh, but yeah, I was about to say with it's with AAA gaming, this game particularly does a great job balancing story and gameplay. It, they, they just keep rolling with the gameplay, you're always fighting. Also, I love the new difficulty and, challenge, uh, and challenges uh, you face along the way, the way that they balance it. You're not incredibly overpowered compared to the last game, where you had so many gadgets to use and then enemies died within one combo. To, despite what difficulty we're playing on. They also buffed their health, like they wouldn't die within one combo and you had to be, like really focus on uh, a lot of things. Also dodges were, um, in, in this game, they they were more mo more hard to do, uh, to do like perfect dodges and all that compared to the last game. Uh, they definitely nerfed the dodging. And even like for parrying, like I, I love the new parry system, but damn, like it was just such a risk. I am, I feel a bit iffy with that. I'm probably going to go in depth about the parry system and the dodging 
system on how on like how it works and why I sort of dislike it, but at the same time I do in the critique. Um, I think the game though, I think it suffers from it not having. It did have different approaches to like combat, um, in a way to like like just a little bit. Uh, I think it needed like a a bit a bit of a different core system with its like beat 'em up or like their 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 combat just overall um like make it feel a little bit different or more different compared to the first one and miles morales's game uh because like the one-on-one fights as much some fights do feel natural or they feel good but a lot of the other boss fights the 1v1 fights they don't feel the best and that goes again with the dodging and the pairing sometimes it's like it's crazy to to do one because you're just gonna get damaged so easily um and even though you're doing it right uh but um yeah i'm probably gonna go over that with the critique i have to think it over and also i'm gonna play through ultimate mode uh because i think that unlocks right after like the credits um what else man well what else is there to say about this game i was surprised there was no um more of like the other characters like black cat and, and yuri i mean it's it's nice that yuri actually has her own side quest storylines i love how the um the side quests they feel more like they just have much better quality than the first game like they have their own cutscenes, nice quality cutscenes um their own little stories i like that a lot and i was surprised we didn't see we didn't see a lot with black cat and she just kind of dipped literally all the way to europe so i don't i don't know what they were doing with her character or unless like her arc is really over with the spider-man series because like they had all this build-up she even had her own like dlc in the uh in spider-man one to only just just be gone unless she's gonna come back i hope she comes back eventually um but yeah like i wanted to see more of like yuri also and like certain other characters uh and this goes back to like the pacing feeling a, a bit kind of weird time to time but at the same time it's like it, it's a double-edged sword because as a first playthrough i don't know what to expect uh because they sort of subvert my like my expectations so i don't know what to expect uh you know with this sort of pacing with its story and it just keeps on going and going which i like and i don't know what to um uh, like look forward to uh but at the same time like after all that's over and i think it through it's like damn i wish they had more of this or more of that you know um but regardless dlc i need it now i need it now this game is so good I, I like how they just did everything overall. Uh, like I said, the, the combat felt like it should have been a bit different. I mean, more different than the first. Um, but yeah, maybe we might see that in, in the future. Because I, I initially really thought we were going to actually have like um, like somewhat of a DMC Devil May Cry like Spider-Man game. When they were introducing like the abilities and you just press certain buttons for like you press the the shortcut commands just to um initiate or execute these uh c commands and do these combos but later on it just felt it just felt the same like spider-man one over time and i was like damn i guess we can't do much with it after that like i think it would have been nice also to have like different move sets uh for the spider man um you know i would love to see the different move sets like i was surprised that we don't even have finisher finisher combos that take out at least two people at a time right because you you're always going through mobs of enemies like they swarm at you oh yeah i want to talk about difficulty real quick like again i also played on spectacular mode and uh yeah i i really did enjoy how that was balanced um but yeah there were some times where like i was actually getting frustrated like i felt like i was robbed but again that's probably like for the critique and i still have i have still yet to play uh ultimate mode um 
But yeah, solid game overall. The performance was was good. I felt certain scenes were unnecessary. It's like, why did you do that? You know. But um, overall, I think it was it was this was a good sequel. I I read some non or not non uh, spoiler free uh, comments about this game, and people were sort of mixed on the story. I felt like this was a was a solid sequel, and. We're, we're just gonna keep going with it like we have literally Wolverine I think coming up and then we're gonna have whatever spider spider-man game they're gonna drop for insomniac like they did a good job like the quality I think in each and every aspect for this game is so different and miles apart compared to spider-man 1 like I don't think I could go back to that game honestly it was this was like a really solid game so I'll give it like my personal thing my personal opinion, like from my enjoyment, I'll give it like a 10, honestly. 10 out of 10. I I had fun. Like, I can't lie to myself that, um, like, I was having fun. Especially with the Venom scenes, like the Venom segments and the Venom boss fight. Like, I actually had fun with the boss fights, some of them. Um, especially with Venom. Like, bro, that was amazing. Like, I thought the um, Doc Ock boss fight was like peak for spider-man in in 2018 but they even went higher they went higher and there was also legit mechanics in the venom boss fight and we fought him so many times um it just sucks i guess like we're not gonna see him again though but my goodness the way he was like modeled his character his he was just so detailed was the most insane thing to see in gaming history and I am very thankful I'm alive to see that. My goodness, I did not expect to experience that. As someone who grew up with Spider-Man and now experienced this whole Spider-Man game as a kid, I, this is nuts and I love it. Like, there were moments, like, I don't, like, you're probably not going to see it through my ending reaction video. I was, like, kind of tearing up a bit, but you're not probably going to see it. My, I don't think my camera uh, caught it, but... Yeah, like, I was sort of tearing up with how this game is just... It just looks so freaking good. Um, yeah, like, the, like... There are times... Especially, like, I noticed in the beginning that the character models, they didn't look the greatest. Um, I don't know. Uh, but... Everything else, like, the, envi the environments... Uh, in this game, and certain shots or cinematography, amazing, but... I could, I could look past that. Bro, I'm a gamer. I could care less about, like, graphics. As long as you make a good, like, good game to me, I'm gonna, like, enjoy it. Right? Enjoy the whole experience. But, alright, let's move on with this. Also, yeah, I, I think I would give my objective, like, rating, you could say. Maybe, like, a 9. A solid 9 out of 10. Because this is literally, like, a game where... I don't know. I feel like... The quality is really up there. Like I don't, you don't normally see that in a lot of AAA games because a lot of AAA games focus a lot of their quality on main mainline quests. Um, but here it's like you see quality everywhere. Uh, but all right, let's keep let's let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Uh, let's also skip this too. Good job to the team. Oh, another post credit. Here we go. Oh, is that the date? Oh, it's Haley. Nice. Haley, hi. I thought it was gonna. I thought it was gonna be Rio. Hungry. Thought it was gonna be Rio's date. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? He worked so hard on it. <laughs> Miles, he's like, what are you talking about? His facial reaction. Some guy in Harlem. Probably seen him volunteering in the city, helping out his city council mom, and trying to live up to his hero dad. Well, about him. Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, it's the scarf that she gave him. Yeah, look at the mask just chilling there too. That's so cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, now that's Rios' date. Hey. Hi. Miles, Haley, this is Albert. Albert? Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, and uh, this is my daughter. Albert Moon. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy, Cindy. That's um, uh, what was it? What was her name? The the, the spider, the other Spider Man. S Silk. <laughs> oh no! Oh my goodness! So Silk. All right, wait, wait. I have to take a picture. That's actually crazy, man. Hold up. Well, I, I gotta do two thumbs up, actually. For the screenshot. My god, bro. No, cause I knew... I was like, I was like, this is a char- This is, this is a Spider-Man character for sure. I just don't- I'm not aware of it. Bro, where are they- See, that's- see? I don't know where the story is, like, heading. Like, what- what's gonna happen next in the future? You know? It's so cool to see, like, all the characters, too. Right? Um, and I just hope all the characters get some sort of, uh, they get, they include them in some sort of way and have a lot of like good enough screen time and good enough writing for them. Um, I was, like I said, I was kind of disappointed. We saw Black Cat for like, probably like 10 minutes, like in the whole entire game, especially like she was one of like the big characters in, in the first game. Um, and yeah, there's still other characters to await. It kind of sucks of, like, how certain villains are. Like, for example, with Mysterio, like... Like, I know all of a sudden he became a good guy and then off-screen, like, he already fought Peter Parker before. Which sucks, because, like, I felt they could have used Mysterio in some sort of way. Maybe for the sequel or maybe in a, a future title. Um, you know, have some good plot with him. But I don't know. Maybe... I don't know. They'll just... Turn something around, I guess. We'll, we'll see. We'll honestly see. But congratulations, you have finished the main story. Uh, but both Peter, Peter and Miles are still available to continue their adventure. You could start a fresh adventure with ultimate difficulty. Good luck, hero. Thank you, Isomniac. But uh, yeah, for those who are watching the ending reaction, I appreciate you guys coming through and uh, watching watching the video. I do recommend if. If you like these type of videos, I always do stream it. So follow my uh, Twitch. But yeah, like the, it's always a good time, you know, sharing my experience with you, uh, with you guys. And uh, feel free to comment like how you guys feel about the game. If you guys, I mean, you're probably once uh, once you already beat the game. So would love to hear how you guys feel about the game. I'm probably missing a few thoughts that I I, I possibly may feel strong about. So. Feel free to like just share and ha let's have a civil like discussion in the comment section. But alright y'all, y'all have a good one and I'm just gonna continue grinding out this game.